Fresh with Fresh and Felicia. Today we're going to talk about the UniNet. This is the i560. It's the iColor 560. Now you look at this thing and it looks like a laser printer. It does. Because that's essentially what it is, but it's a special laser printer. It does something that no other laser printer that I'm aware of does. So a lot of people were asking us, we do a lot of um, work with Cricut and Vinyl. Yep. And they're asking us, well, we want to wear dark shirts because it's really easy to put the Cricut stuff and all the other stuff, the dye sub on light shirts. But I want dark shirts. If I'm going to go to Olive Garden and eat spaghetti sauce, I don't want people to see I got spaghetti <laughs> sauce splashed all over my shirt. So you want to wear dark and dark looks a little bit more slimming. There's a myriad of reasons people like dark shirts, but it's really difficult to put designs like these right. and this on dark t-shirts until you have a device like this. Because think about it, if you try a vinyl cutter, what are you limited to? The colors of the vinyls that you get. You can't do gradients. You can't, it, you're just limited. And you did that trivia shirt, which did have multiple colors on it. It's not out here, but how many, how many cuts did you have to do for that? I don't know, seven, eight. There's the cuts. cuts, there's the weeding. Yeah. Um, there's the individual pressing of the layers in the different colors. Exactly. Right. So it just takes a tremendous amount of time to do any colors. And you can't do gradients and cool things like I'm seeing on your shirt here. But people say, all right, well, let's move to dye sub. What's the problem with dye sub? There's a couple problems with dye sub. Well, one of the big problems is that you have to dye sub if you're looking at a t-shirt on a t-shirt that is at least 65% polyester. And what about dark high. shirts? Can you dye sub on dark on shirts? On dark shirts, you can't dye sub on dark shirts. You have to um, do a process where you use like white vinyl HTV or glitter, white glitter vinyl underneath the base coat in order to get it to sub on uh, dark shirts. Which colors. is ridiculous. That's like a whole nother. What about this machine the internet 560 does a great job printing white and dark colors on any cotton any kind of shirt any kind so that's what it is you could use silk screen you can go into much more expensive things there's dtg stuff but this really solves a lot of problems because it gives you the ability to print white and vibrant colors and gradients on dark shirts black shirts dark blue dark gray which is amazing Excellent. including the shirts that we're wearing which were made on these machines. Very difficult to do. So if you're a small company and you wanna do smaller runs and you don't wanna invest a lot of money in silk screening or like a $15,000 machine that goes direct to garment, this is the way to do it. And I think it looks great. It does. The whites pop, the colors are incredibly vibrant as you're probably seeing in our B-roll here. It's amazing. So this company, this UniNet is essentially the authority on state-of-the-art digital color and white transfer print. It's really what it's called, white transfer printing? Yep, white toner printing. So it does a couple of different things here. It's, it, it prints at a super high resolution of 2400 DPI, which is insane. I mean, it's, it's, it's like photographic quality. We actually have photographs on your shirt, yes. which are legible and they look like photographs. You ever try to do some of this stuff on dye sub, it comes out really low res, but these are beautiful with realistic lifelike colors. That's amazing. This guy also will connect to your computer with Wi-Fi, or you can use a USB cable. Correct. How was it easy to set up? Very easy to set up. That's awesome. So there's four toner cartridges in here, but it comes with five. That's correct. And one of them is what color? White. White, white toner. Yep. But that's not all you can get with this thing, is I'll talk about it in a few minutes. You can get gold, silver. Fluorescent. Uh, there's a fluorescent colors, and there's yeah. this uh, RF thing. Um, and some other stuff too. We'll talk about the security colors and stuff That's as well. That's really interesting. Yeah. yeah. So this does, see, most printers do CMYK. This is CMYW. And you can take the cartridge out and actually print with the, the uh, black. You can replace right. that. Replace the white. Is that your white one? This is the white. Yeah. Replace it with the black. And the white just really pops. It's really the brightest white I've ever seen in one of these printers. And you can see it on your shirt there. It makes mm -hmm. the colors, the white. Is this overprinting or underprinting? Overprinting. So you did overprinting on this if you want to reverse it and put it on a garment. Right. Okay. Right. And what about the underprinting? Tell me what that's all underprinting about. Underprinting is just straight up printing like on cardstock, dark colored things. So this is a dark brown piece of paper and you were able to print white in that white outline. Look how the colors just pop on this. You could do this on black, on dark red, on dark Absolutely. blue. Yeah. People do it with menus and greeting cards and so many things. Now show me what a regular laser printer, a CMYK will do. 
You can see it looks good, but the colors don't really pop. They're not standing out like this because the white is missing. So this is the power of this thing. It gives you white toner. Right. And to me, that's amazing. That's a game changer. Mm -hmm. I agree. I 100% agree. That so turned out amazing. It did. It really came out amazing that you can see white. You can actually print with white toner. It's next level stuff for marketing, for merchandising, for so many reasons. So let's talk about the iColor 560 transfer media printers. They offer several unique advantages, including the ability to print white as an underprint and an overprint in the same machine in one pass using the unique iColor Pro Rip software. So software really makes it easy. It tells you exactly where the white cartridge should be placed, depending on your job, either in the first slot of the printer or the last. It tells you exactly what to do depending on what you're doing. Now the underprint allows the laser toner colors to pop, really pop, like on our shirts when printed directly on clear media or dark paper. And you can't do that with traditional laser printers. The overprint function allows you, it's really for heat transfer designs for dark colored shirts, bags, jackets, and other textiles. So use the underprint when you're printing directly to dark paper or dark media, the overprint when you're going to do heat transfer. And that's what's really unique about this. Now the white opacity of UniNet's unique blend of white toner is double that of any other brands, giving you the brightest whites and solid backgrounds to really bring out the vibrancy of your colors. There are optional gold, silver, fluorescent, there's security and clear toner cartridge kits. The security toner is interesting. It has RF fragments that can be actually read by an RF reader. The clear toner is great for watermarking or protecting things like glitter media, among other uses. There's little to no maintenance on the iColor 560, like with ink-based machines. It's really the lowest cost, the lowest maintenance, and most flexible machine available. UniNet's optional iColor Smart Cut software allows owners of smaller width printers like the, like the iColor 560 to print big images. So what Smart Cut does is it allows splitting and splicing of one graphic across two or more printed transfer sheets. So this enables easy graphics for 3XL and 4XL shirts that just aren't possible with even the most expensive of printing systems. And with the optional higher yield white toner cartridge with a capacity of 7,000 pages and full color capabilities, the iColor 560 offers superstar performance for on-demand printing of short to mid-run transfer production of garments, t-shirts, aprons, mugs, and bags, as well as non-transfer applications such as stationery, invitations, menus, envelopes, labels, window decals, brochures, signs, packaging prototypes, and so much more. Now the important thing to know with the iColor 560 is you do need a good heat press. We did start out when we were experimenting with this thing for the first time, we did use some of our lower quality heat presses, end up buying a couple of new ones, because you really need a, a good, hot, reliable heat press with an even, that's really evenly heated, because if you have those dropout spots, you're gonna end up with problems later on. So you need, you need a professional heat press to really do this well. And that's really your only other investment when you need to, if you need to upgrade to this level of printing. So the iColor 560 is gonna provide cost-effective fabric transfer production in full color on dark garments without the constant maintenance associated with direct-to-garment or silkscreen systems. You're gonna get exceptional 2400 DPI resolution. And the iColor transfer papers are available in a variety of sizes and textures featuring a weed-free system. No more weeding, allowing you to affordably express your creativity in a commercial or a personal setting. The iColor 560, it's really the way to go to do full color printing on textiles or dark color things. It's really the only way to do it with the underprinting and the overprinting, everything you need in this awesome package. And we're huge fans of this. The iColor 560 by Uninet, it's brilliant.